Let's move on to another important story, which is essentially has been developing for some time now, and I'm referring to Infosys. Uh, does the board reject at Infosys translate into a change of control, and does that necessitate an open offer? These are some of the issues raised by the shareholder advisory firm SES. In a report, SES has said that the return of Nandan Nilikani as the non-executive chairman of Infosys, coupled with the power exerted by the co-founder, Mr. N. R. Narayan Murthy, could potentially amount to a change in control under SEBI regulations and require the promoters to make an open offer. Remember, Mr. Nilikani returned to Infosys last month after the unending tussle between the board and the founder shareholders, especially Mr. Murthy over the issue of governance culminated into Vishal Sikha's resignation. Well, let's discuss this a little bit uh, further in detail. We have uh, the, uh, the uh, we have uh, Mr. Jane Gupta, whole time uh, uh, the the co-founder and managing director of the firm SES, which has essentially put out this report. Mr. Gupta, it's always a pleasure to have you with us here. Thanks very much. Now, uh, thank you. In in your report, you essentially define control, right? You say, and I quote, control includes the right to appoint majority of the directors or to control the management of policy decisions exercisable by a person or persons acting individually or in concert, directly or indirectly, including by virtue of their shareholding or management rights or shareholder agreement or voting agreements or in any other manner. If you simply take that definition of control and put it in the context of Mr. Murthy and ask, does Mr. Murthy, did Mr. Murthy have the right to do any of this? The answer is no, absolutely no, straightforward no. Did he do any of this? Well, the answer again, one has to say is a no, Mr. Gupta. Because if he had the right to do uh, what, uh, you know, this definition of control entails, he would have directly done it. He would not have, I mean, the entire saga would not have proceeded like it did. So how do you, how do you say this is... I mean, this situation falls under what you define as change of control. Okay, thank you. First of all, I don't. I want to correct you. I am not defining the control. Mm. This definition of control is taken out of SEBI regulation, which is which is SAST regulation of SEBI. Mm. Now, again, what we have said, it is not that Mr. Murthy is in control. What we have said that the control is ability to appoint majority of directors. It is not, it is by virtue of shareholding only, it includes in any other manner. Now you have to read things in bit by bit. The question is that if you say earlier, the Infosys in 2014 had very clearly said, and it was a statement from Mr. Murthy also, Infosys also, that now there is no member or no founders on the board or in the management and it is a purely professional company without any control or without any involvement of the founders. Now having transferred itself to an entity where there was no element of involvement of ex-founders or other current founders into the board, it was a professionally managed company. Now what has happened today that by whatever means one of the founder has come back to company as a chairperson, non-executive chairperson. Uh, Mr. Gupta, I, let me just... Then... I, I get that, I get that. Uh, so, but that, that that phrase, by whatever means, that is important. The, Who, I mean, Mr. Yeah, Nilikani, is, Mr. Nilikani is a founder, he's come back at the company, but who's appointed him? The board has appointed him, right? No. I mean, in page number six of your but report, that's... you say, in this particular case, Mr. Murthy... Uh, has been able to get his people appointed on the board, forcing the exit of other directors. In SES's opinion, this amounts to the right to appoint majority of the directors in any other manner, right? That's that's from your report, page number six. The I, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Please, please, please let me complete. If you don't let me complete, then we'll go on. Not go on. Make your point, sir. Make your point. So, so, so what I'm saying that having Mr. Mul Nilkeni coming into the picture, hmm. then Mr. Mur Mr. Narayan Murthy has said that with the exit of the people that that was that i was looking for and then said that this is work in progress mm. now i do not know you do not know what is the meaning of work in progress mm. now if mm. by whatever means it is if mr murthy or mr nilkeni or whosoever it may be is able to put a board of their choice onto the company 
and of course as you say that mr murthy that board has not been changed by mr murthy because he cannot change the board exactly but it is the circumstances circumstances which has to be seen that is why we have said i cannot decide it it has to be decided by sebi mm. because sebi has got the authority to find out what has been happening mm. because i and you can keep on arguing it that whether i did not change and you did not change mm. but the fact of the matter is that the board has changed mm. and as mr murthy has very clearly said it is work in process mm. now what do you mean by work in process sure. whether new members will be sure. appointed or not sure. if you see mr murthy's 14th august letter mm. where he said the some of the known people should come back and he had named mr maitri and onkar goswami unfortunately onkar goswami wrote a open letter so mm. his position mm. is mm. not going mm. to be there in mm. board anymore mm. but that is where we have to see future what yes. happens in future Ab today yeah. the situation has happened that mm. some changes in the board has happened mm. now who has directed this change mm. what is going to be the consequences mm. i cannot decide mm. it is for the regulator to see whether sest control clause triggers it yeah. or yeah. not okay let me let I me you know say, our, our time is, is absolutely you made your point the reason i am putting all these questions to you is because in your uh, assessment this is a case which uh, should essentially trigger an open offer right i mean you're presenting the facts and you're saying that in your opinion if, if, it should if, now it's up to the market to, if yeah. the market if the market regulator comes to the conclusion yeah. that yes it is indeed change of control then it will trigger a open yes, offer yes exactly now let me make a couple of uh, points and please respond uh, first of all you say and i repeat on page number 6 in sas's opinion this amounts to the right to appoint majority of the directors right uh, you would agree that this has not been a right which has been exercised it has essentially been a fight no I mean, no it a, is a unending i would say months it, it of is, fight basically right it is that is point number 1 it is in go yeah. on go on yeah so i am saying it is in any other manner it yeah. will come under the clause not right as a shareholder not right as a mm. Mm, authority mm. but somehow this has happened it has been exercised by whatever means i would put it in that way right so then let us not go into the yeah. word here and there mm. the underlying theme is that okay uh, let me ask you a simple question Uh, you, on page number thirteen, you say can founders claim to a differential treatment? Let me flip that question on its head, right? I mean, that is the uh, title of your paragraph on page number thirteen. Can founders claim to a differential yeah. treatment? Just because Mr. Yeah. Murthy is a shareholder and a founder, can we uh, preclude him from agitating? I mean, what what can a shareholder do? I mean, if he's if he thinks that the company is not being run properly, uh, uh, what can, it's shareholder democracy at the end of the day, right? I mean, you can write letters. I you am, can make your uh, grievances public. That's what he did. I am hundred. I am hundred and one percent with you, mm. Mr. Murthy has got every right. Mm. I don't deny his right. But what I am saying is again is this that when you say when you if you read Mr. Neil Kenny's interview and everything, mm. where it says that Mr. Murthy will be consulted. Mm. Now how under what capacity Mr. Murthy will be consulted? Mm. This mm. has to be an open and transparent. Mm. Mr Murthy cannot have a right better than your and mine right as a shareholder if he is given a better right then please put it in a disclosure put it in a transparent manner what is the institutional framework there is if you see i have been arguing that the promoter should have a more right as compared to other shareholder because promoter can give direction right. but that right should be exercised in a institutional framework Got it, Got it, it. cannot be exercised in a Got it. Non-transparent matter. Okay, very briefly, I'm already. I'm. I'm being told our time is over, but I'm going to squeeze in this last question. On page 15, you're basically citing similarity between Tata and the Infosys case, right? Uh, yeah, and you, you say what are similarities and dissimilarities? Exactly. Both. Let me put it this way: uh, in the Tata case, uh, Mr. Si Mr. Mistry was fired summarily, right? I mean, he wasn't given any opportunity to explain. That did not happen in this case. Mr. Sikka. uh could defend himself i mean he could have chosen not to step down the board decided and i mean he uh, tendered his resignation the board accepted and that's how it happened i mean isn't that the biggest uh, sort of difference in two cases no no that that is what i say mm. you got to look into this thing that <clears throat> there are, I, as i said that if in earlier interview i would have said that if i was in place of any of those directors mm. i would not resign mm. because if i have not done anything wrong i would never quit but the pro problem that happens when you are in a position like mr sikka or mr sesai 
you look into what is the value that their loss is happening to the organization which they are heading and what is their personal loss. Sure. And at times you come to a situation where you see that by quitting you are going to save the company mm. or other shareholders interest much better. Mm. That's why they sidestep. Okay. That is the difference. Okay. In Tata's case, Tata's exercised their authority As in a transparent yes. manner. They fired hmm. Mr. Mistri or they removed Mr. Mistri. Got it. In this case, it was an objective achieved through a different okay, manner. Different manner. That is there. I uh, I uh, take all your points and our viewers have heard you. Thank you very much, Mr. Gupta, for taking the time out and explaining what you've said in the report. Of course, as you said, it's up to the market regulator, SEBI, to take a call and we will know soon enough.